Ellie from Toggin Porter. Thank you for joining me. Of course. Thank you for having me. Sure. So what is Toggin Porter? Okay. So Toggin Porter is an um, online platform that allows you to connect with a personal stylist. You can either choose from one of our style, like through their bios, or we can set you up with one. Um, once you've chosen a stylist, there are uh, schedules available online. You book an appointment, and then you meet with the stylist via video chat, so you don't even have to leave your house. Okay. And after you've met with your stylist um, online, you, well, first she talks to you about your lifestyle, like what your needs are, where you're struggling getting dressed, like what, what are your biggest pain points. Okay. Um, we also ask you to upload um, some of your favorite pieces onto a Pinterest board so we can get a kind of feel for what um, you have and what you're wearing the most. And then from there, um, your stylist identifies any gaps in your wardrobe, and then she shops within our database of over 350 designers and picks out clothes specifically for you. So we don't have any inventory, we actually buy only after we've spoken to you. Okay. Then you receive the box, you also receive a digital PDF style guide where she lays out all the different combinations of outfits you could make from the items she sent you and also the items that you've uploaded. Um, and from there, uh, you have a second fitting with her. So you go through, you try on all the outfits for her and she tells you like, okay, maybe these don't fit that great or you know, wear that with a belt or no, that shirt needs to be tucked in. It's all these little things that you don't uh, you know, necessarily realize that, that, that it makes all that difference. Right, you know? especially if you're not very fashionable. Yes, well even, even if you are, like I consider myself pretty, you know, pretty fashionable, but their minds are completely different. Like they think of things that you would have, you know, the everyday person never thinks of. Right. So when you're trying on these clothes, you're usually, most people are probably using their iPads or their iPhones to take pictures. Yes, so right now we're using, yeah. So uh, when they're video chatting, they're using their computer, their laptop or their um, iPad device. Okay. Um, what would make it extremely easier is if we had, um, you know, when our clients are able to use Google Glass or um, Glass App. Okay. Because then they can look directly into the mirror and our stylist can get that first person perspective. So that's so. where all of this comes in with being at Glaze. Yeah. Because I have Google Glass and you can actually look at your closet by first person and have them see what you have. Have them see what you have. It would just make everything a lot more streamlined. We could, you know, we could accomplish a lot in less time. Mm -hmm. Also, right now, we're working on an app that allows you to um, get on-demand service. So right now, right now, you still have to schedule your appointments with our stylists, but the, on -demand, the app would be on-demand. So you'd get to talk to any stylist by, like, by time, right? So let's say you're out shopping and you need to choose between two pairs of shoes for a certain dress. So you upload a picture of the dress and then you connect with her on the app and then you're, you know, you still have to take a picture of the two shoes to show her. If you could just show her as you're shopping with the glass on, it would make, you know, everything that much easier. So are you working on an app for Google Glass right now? We are working on an app. Okay. Um, yeah, it's still totally in development, but yeah, we're, we're trying to get on top of it. But actually the glass up is gonna, I think gonna be more, it's an already more accessible price point. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's it's hard to think about, um, you know, here in San Francisco, we're, we're kind of in a bubble, you know, mm -hmm. you see people walking around with the glass all the time, but we have clients all over the U.S. So many of them have even heard of the Google Glass. <laughs> a lot of people haven't. So, you know, we're trying to stay ahead of the curve. Um, so yeah, it's something that we're, we're in the process of, but you know, we still have our day-to-day -day operations that we're trying to grow. So do you think, I mean, thinking about where Glass, Glass Up, one of those types of devices fits in with your app, do you think most people will, will trend towards eventually getting a device like that, a wearable, to help them shop? Or do you think that your, your app will continue moving forward more with an iPad or an iPhone? I think that it will be sort of both. You know, I think you're going to have the early adopters who definitely are, are wearing the glass. And we, we've even talked about getting our stylists all glass because the real estate actually is, is better on the glass. Um, so it would, you know, make that, that part easier. But we also have to think about, okay, so let's say, like I gave you that example earlier. If we, let's say I, I suggested to you, like wear a... Um, like double monk's shoe or whatever, and you were like, what's a double monk shoe? Right. 
um, where our sales could easily send you an image of one so you know what to look for right. or you look for something similar in your closet. So there has to be some way to do both. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think eventually the glass will, will eliminate um, the use of the app, the need for the app, mm -hmm. but um, I think it will just be an app for the glass. <laughs> right, so you have to balance both of them at the same time as you have yes, different Yes, I think like, it's going to definitely take a couple years before, um, before it's totally eliminated. I'd say like five. That's what most people are saying about five years before it's mainstream. Yeah, yeah. So what has been your favorite part about Glaze so far? Um, my favorite part has been like discovering things. Really? You know, it's really cool to see, um, you know, sort of in my head, just like working, getting, talking to consumers mostly, I feel like everybody is a step behind. And then when I'm here, I'm like, whoa, people are really working on this stuff. It's amazing. You know, so it's good to come together with people that are that forward thinking and seeing them actually making products for it. Have you met anyone interesting today? Um, yeah, I've met a ton of interesting people. Yeah. Any um, conversation <laughs> that stuck out? Any what? Any conversation that stuck out? Oh, any conversations that stick out? Yeah, actually, at lunch, I met a very interesting fellow from Thimble, I believe, um, okay. who's making this medical, or not medical, it's a um, pain relief like Band-Aid. And so you put it on. So I woke up with a stiff neck today, so I had him put it on my neck, and it was really cool to... It's like science, <laughs> like witchery almost kind of science. It's crazy. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was pretty cool. Like you felt these weird sensations, but my neck did feel better. That's awesome. Yeah. I'll have to find him. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Oh, well, thank you for having me yeah, anytime. Yeah, of course. Thank you.